Hello everyone, I am the most comfortable heels. Welcome to my channel. I'm so so happy that you guys are here because today we're gonna talk about some things and for some people even embarrassing things they don't dare to talk about but there's nothing embarrassing about corns. They are actually very painful and they can be very uncomfortable and they can even stop you from wearing your favorite heels. So in this video we're gonna talk about how you can prevent corns what the symptoms are and the way you can treat them so you can get rid of them and you don't have to see them anymore before i'm going to explain everything to you i need you to like this video subscribe and even hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know how to make your heels comfortable how to take good care of your feet and which brand has the most comfortable heels because there are a lot of brands out here selling these beautiful and glamorous heels but the moment you put them on your feet oh boy they hurt they hurt so bad you can't even walk you're looking crazy and foolish in the street and you know how i know because i used to wear those heels that are so so uncomfortable just subscribe and do all of that so you can have the best and best experience when it comes to wearing your heels are these hard layer thick waxy skin you have on parts of your feet and they can be very tender they can also be very painful so corns comes with wearing ill-fitting shoes so if you wear shoes that are too tight your skin uh, protects itself by creating a corn that develops from friction and pressure i always talk about this but a lot of people wear the wrong shoe size you can prevent them by wearing the right shoes also it also happens with wearing shoes without socks it just causes a lot of friction to your skin you have to wear shoes with socks so another risk factor of uh, having corns is having bunions hammer toes or other foot conditions even if you wear loose shoes it can make your feet slide in the shoes and that causes friction so it's very important to know what your perfect shoe size is and if you don't know i actually made a video on how you can measure your feet to find the perfect uh, length and width size for your heels don't wear shoes that are too tight a lot of people do that just for the sake of fashion don't do that to yourself wear shoes that fit right okay so that's the way you can prevent yourself from having corns another way you can prevent corns is anti-pressure rings so i am very prone to getting uh, uh, corns because i have white feet so i just stick these on the places where i'm prone to getting corns and that's the side of my toes it relieves your feet from pressure so if you have like a hammer toe this is perfect to put on your edge of your hammer toe or the edge of your bunions so that's something very good to use anti-pressure rings perfect you could also use bandage so whenever you feel like your shoes are causing friction just use regular bandage and it can protect your skin there are two ways to treat your corns so uh, one way is to actually soak your feet and use this pumice stone to uh, scrub off the hardened layer thick skin uh, after you soak your feet for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and you can scrub off the extra skin with a pumice stone but if your corns feels too sensitive or too painful this can be something a little bit too rough to do so uh, definitely listen to your body if it feels too uncomfortable using the pumice stone you can use a corn bandage and this corn bandage is something i always have i use this uh, corn bandage and it has a type of acid in it that dissolves the skin in a very in, in a very gentle way it dissolves the skin and it also numbs the skin so when you wear these uh, bandage and you wear your favorite heels again you will not have pain anymore you can stick this on the corn after cleaning your feet properly and wear them for let's say 24 hours or 48 hours after that you take them off and your skin turns white and after a while you can actually peel the skin off so this is my favorite thing to use whenever I have corns and, you know when I wear those bandage around my toes it just numbs my toes and I can wear my heels again and it just it just it's just perfect so in this video I just showed you what the symptoms are how you can prevent them and how you can treat them I hope this video is very useful for you I want to thank to everyone who subscribed lately to my videos I'm so so happy that you guys subscribe to my channel see you the next time where I can help you have the most comfortable heels experience